Hello, our citizens. My name is Chris. I'm a brain education instructor from Rolling Hills, California. And welcome to our Five Element Qigong series. Five Element Qigong is, refers to an ancient Eastern philosophy of harmonizing the energy of our body, of our mind, for our best health, our best well-being. And today we're going to focus on the water element. So the water element has to do with our kidneys and our bladder. So go and bring your feet a little bit shoulder width apart. So you're going to place your hands on your lower back. I'm going to turn so you can see your kidneys rest right under your ribcage here. So you can start to rub the lower back here a little bit. So the water energy is good for purifying, is for, for cleansing. So the meridians come up from the feet. So we want to imagine the energy is flowing up from the earth into our body. Then our bladder is really in the low abdomen, just below the kidney line. So you can come down there a little bit and you can rub that space. So bringing the focus in to this area. So we want to start to set our mind there. So through our two basic flows and holding posture, we are going to purify. We're going to cleanse the water energy. We're going to let go. We're going to build our overall energy. And then we're going to grow the energy we want to harmonize our water energy. Good. So you can kind of relax. You can relax your shoulders. So we're going to start with a little bit of gentle Tai Chi opening, inhaling up and exhaling down. So you want to feel like the wave of energy is coming up from your soles, up your spine, lifting your arms and falling. So as you come, as the inhale, the chest will lift, the tailbone will drop. And as you exhale, the chest will sink, the tailbone will tuck. So inhale and exhale. So we want to feel that rhythmic flow of energy coming up and down through our spine. Good. Inhaling up and exhaling down. Feel the energy flowing up through your body and down. One more time here. And relax. So now to cleanse and purify the water, we're going to take our right hand and place it on our lower back, right on our kidney space, so where you saw before. With my left hand, I'm going to use it as a scoop. So as I inhale, I'm going to bend, I'm going to scoop like I'm lifting water up. And as it comes up, I'm going to pass my hand across my body. Good. And then I'm going to scoop again. So what we're going to visualize is that I'm picking up some water and then it's pouring down my arm, rinsing away my stress, my tension. So oftentimes with water energy, the focus is fear. That's the negative energy associated with water and uh, water element that's not harmonious. So we want to feel like we're scooping and we're rinsing the fear. Let it drip off your body. Good. So scooping. And through the breath, you can inhale on the way up and exhale, letting go of that fear. Inhaling up and exhaling. Good. We're going to do one more on this side. Scooping, rinsing away all of your fear. And now you're going to switch your hands. Your left hand will come to your lower back. You'll use your right hand as a scoop. Scooping, inhaling. Exhale, let go of all your fear, pulling the energy up, feel it coming into the kidney space. So we want to have that imagination that we're using the movement and the breath to release that fear, to harmonize the energy. So our intention, our mind, is helping us to release. So sink with your breath. Jaw. One more time. Inhaling. Exhaling. We can release our arms. So now we're going to get a holding posture to build this energy. So we're going to bring our hands behind our back. I'm going to turn so you can see. I'm going to bring my hands right under my kidneys here. So now I'm holding, I'm supporting my kidneys. Some of us, this might be a little tough on the back, so we want to get a little forward lean. Open your chest, feel the energy sitting on your palms. Some of us, our hands might not reach as high, so find the comfortable posture with your hands. You may feel a lot of energy sitting on your palms, supporting your kidneys, energy filling that lower back. 
So many times, people that are fearful, they say they lack spine. They have trouble with their back or they have a yellow stripe on their back. So we want to feel that energy, creating the power. So through the holding posture, there might be discomfort, there might be some pain, some vibration. That's where the energy is blocked. We're trying to clean that. So the holding postures allow us to build our energy, to store it. Then we have more material to work with. So our second flow is going to be our, our flow for circulation, for creation. We're going to start to create more energy, grow more energy, and build the energy. Good. Feel the tingling. Maybe some in your soles, maybe your palms, maybe your shoulders aren't very happy. Good. So feel the energy refilling your body. Good job. One more breath here. And exhale, slowly release the arms. Now we're gonna to come to our circulation flow. So with our hands, we're gonna pull them towards each other. The back of the hands will face each other. They're gonna slide up your chest. And then your hands are gonna spray out like a fountain. As you come down, you can bend a little bit more. So you're pulling the water energy up. So you're refilling yourself with water. And then the fountain sprays around your body. So picture the fountain of energy coming up through your body and filling and growing. So we start to cultivate more strength, more power. The color associated with water energy is blue. So visualize a nice deep ocean blue energy coming up and filling your body. Allowing yourself to grow this more harmonious energy. Feeling yourself becoming a little stronger, a little braver. Inhaling up and spraying it around. So connecting with your breath, connecting mind and body. Feel yourself filling with water, becoming lighter, bright blue energy, radiating. One more breath. And exhale. We're going to bring down the energy three times to balance and harmonize the energy throughout your body. One more time. Crossing the hands over your lower dungeon, second chakra, bring your feet a little closer. Swaying like the bamboo in the breeze. Allow the energy to move your body. Now we can start to rub our abdomen clock arms with your feet about shoulder width once again. Good. Really consolidate that energy, grow the energy, and slowly take a deep breath in and out. Good. So thank you for joining me for working with the water element. Um, this is good for banishing our fear for growing a little bit of confidence and being able to attack life a little stronger. So thank you for your practice today. Kamsamdita. And if you'd like to experience a full one hour brain education based class, please contact a local body and brain center near you.